Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a fairly quick and easy lace edge look for a shape in Illustrator. Before we get started let's have a look and see what it is that we're trying to achieve. What I'm going to show you how to do is to create a lacy edge that is something like this in Illustrator. Now it's very very simple to do. I'm going to start with a new document and I'm just going to create a square document and I'm going to fill the artboard with a color. Now I have a script that allows me to automatically create a rectangle that is the size of the artboard and here it is here so I can just fill it. Now if you don't have a script like that you can go ahead and create a rectangle the size of the artboard and fill it with color or you could have a look at one of my other videos that teaches you how to use scripts in Illustrator. Now the circle is going to be created using the ellipse tool so I'm just going to click on the ellipse tool and drag out a circle in the middle of my document. I'm going to target the fill color for the shape and then go and pick up a sort of orange color to use. Now we're going to the appearance panel because all the work we're going to do is in the appearance panel. At the moment this shape does not have a stroke on it so I've got the shape selected. I'm going to click here to add a white stroke and I'm going to make it about a three point stroke so that we can see it. Right now the stroke is just sitting around the edge of the object so we're going to start by applying an effect to it. I'm going to choose Effect and then Distort and Transform Zigzag. This will allow me to apply a zigzag edge. I want it to be smooth so I'm going to click Smooth and you can see right now that it is a sort of shallow zigzag edge. Let's take this ridges per segment up a little bit until we get something a little bit more interesting. So I'm thinking that something like this will be good. The size is 12 and the ridges per segment at the moment is 9 and I'll click OK. This zigzag edge can now be built upon. What I'm going to do in the appearance panel here is click on the zigzag effect and I'm going to drag and drop it onto this icon here, the new icon. And what it does is it builds the effect up by adding a zigzag to the zigzag. And we're going to do it again. So once we've done it a third time you can see that we're getting really quite an interesting effect here. We may want to drop the stroke down a little bit perhaps to two points but your mileage may differ. You may want to just see what you can get as an effect that you can use. Now if it's not right you can come in and, and make changes to it so you can change the size and as you do you'll find that with the preview turned on the effect is going to change so you can sort of tweak this effect a little bit to get something that you want. You might find that increasing the ridges per segment and decreasing the size will give you a different effect. Now I'm liking this one a whole lot better so I'm just going to fiddle with it a little bit until I get it looking the way I want it to. And in that case I was clicking on the middle of these zigzag effects but you can click on any of them and make changes to them. Now right now you can see that the zigzag effect is on top of the fill shape but we can change that around and I'm just going to click on the fill for this shape and just drag it upwards and dump it on top of the stroke. And what that does is it puts the fill in front of the stroke so that we get this very lacy edge effect. That is as simple as it is. You can do this really, really quickly and easily in Illustrator. You can get some really interesting effects just by adding a stroke, a couple of zigzag or two or three zigzag effects and you've got this lace edge effect. If you like that sort of wavy edge then you can create that again. I'm just going to drag and drop by holding the Alt key the initial zigzag that I created and I'm going to drag and drop that onto the fill layer and this is the zigzag effect. So we can actually have a zigzag on our shape or just a plain circle. It doesn't matter which we choose but there are a lot of 
options that you have here for working with and creating these sort of lazy edge effects in Illustrator. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more of my video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.